we say that form follows function. So what you ask your body to do on a regular basis is how your body is going to adapt to that kind of work. I'm Dustin Moore, I'm an instructor with fitness and wellness management. Resistance training is any kind of external loading that's going to challenge the body. That can come in weights, rubber bands, kettlebells, body weight, or even things like resistance from water. A lot of the initial changes that happen with strength training is adaptations in the nervous system. It's just your nervous system taking the brakes off. It's like allowing your body to produce more force. If you continue to impose that kind of stimulus on the body, eventually the muscle is actually going to start to adapt. The little tears that occur every time there is resistance training, so it's micro damage, it's going to be micro repair, and over time that repetitive stress will allow that muscle to be stronger. Increased level of strength have shown increased uh, longevity and healthy independent living. Cardio typically gets a lot of the press for burning more calories, but active muscle mass will burn more calories at rest. So the combination of aerobic training and resistance training is going to give you the best kind of bang for your buck. Consistency is, is more important, so the frequency rather than intensity. Small steps, little by little. Uh, doing something is better than doing nothing. If you're able to do smaller, more consistent workouts, you'll see better benefits.